and welcome to Holdridge's Crusade. Today we are in the Fro Tower of the Frozen Shadow, uh, floor four. And uh, what we're doing is trying to get the next key. Uh, I am actually in the zone a little bit because uh, I forgot to start talking. Uh, but you zone in uh, right over here. Uh, what I did is I went like this down the hall, right around here and right here. And I fell down this trap. Uh, down here in this trap area, there is one mob that can spawn the guy that we need. Uh, and two, it looks like two names can possibly spawn down here. I don't know. Uh, so let's, I mean, let me check Hunter real quick and see if that is actually true. Uh, Hunter. Tower of the Frozen Shadow. So if we look here, we got D, yes, and we got Amon. So Amon the second is the mob. So, uh. Let me uh, make sure we're in Viz here, and I'll run with my Necro since he can get out of trouble. So it's just a hallway down here, and then we got Frost Mummy, which is the uh, the trigger mob that can spawn what we're looking for. Uh, this is not a actual the one. <laughs> uh, we'll have to kill it. Uh, there's an ooze here. It looks like maybe there's some skeletons down here, uh, and then there's another Restless Mummy over there. And some more stuff so what we're gonna do is kind of camp this area and uh kind of go through and kill everything here i think uh this will be the safest place to do it uh i pulled them up <laughs> like i was right uh where, where's the where's the line right so you zone in here i went down the hall there's like two mummies like right about here uh maybe they're right here at this corner uh i pulled them and somehow I got 30 mobs and died. Uh, this this zone is terrible uh, for mobs aggroing through the walls. So definitely uh, keep an eye out on all of that. But uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm on my bard. I'm going to try to get less mobs than... <laughs> than you can possibly get here. Uh, so we're gonna silence this guy. If I can target that guy, we'll silence him. Try to pull the flesh. All right, where is my paladin? Mummy, get him going. All right, let's move the bard back down here. Get some songs going, and let's move you up so you can kind of have a line of sight and move you. They all kind of got weird positions that uh keep repeat mode on. All right. And I think that's everybody. All right, let's go back to Holder Cheer. Jeez, what happened? <laughs> Mouse was on the wrong, uh, wrong monitor. All right, there we go. So we I didn't do any, uh, any slower or anything on this. So you know, just kind of going raw here. All right, we got a clock. This is a collectible. A lot of collectibles down here, for sure. And turn that off. There we go. All right, so we're just gonna kind of clear down here until we get the trigger mob and we'll get the key and then we'll be able to go to the next floor. Uh, so the frost mummies can spawn, uh, let me see what his name is here. Uh, Amani, Amon, the Hempan, oh jeez, this is a name, uh, Amon the, the Penia, the second, that is a key mob, now you can also get, if you kill restless dummies, you'll get an emote that pops out saying that, uh, there is something in the center of the maze, uh, which I believe will spawn like right here anyway when you kill the restless mummies 
I believe that's where that spawn is because it says to fall down the trap. But I have no idea. I don't even remember how I got this key originally uh, on my uh, Feronavi Necromancer. So I like it down here because it's a little safer. There's very limited number of mobs. Uh, we're going to eventually sit in that center room. Uh, we should be able to handle it once we get everything like uh, locked down. And I'll, I'm just going to grind um, until I get the key mob. And then when we get the key mob, we'll we'll go from there. I don't uh, uh, I don't I don't think watching me grind is going to be very interesting on this since these are uh, kind of boring mobs here. Uh, but once we finish this zone, so we got uh, two more quests to go. That'll give us, uh, that'll finish the expansion for us. And then uh, we can, uh, I think we're going to move to Terra of Luckland at 116 for sure. Uh, I've been thinking about it and uh, my Necromancer needs a few quests from Terra of Luckland. So that already kind of puts us in the right spot for that. Uh, I'll do repeat the ones he already has uh, first, and then uh, should uh, be able to get that going pretty good. And then at 121, we will head to uh, um, Lorian's Song, so it's kind of like the, the plan. Uh, we are going to probably do Night of Shadow, so we'll do Terra of Luckland and then start Night of Shadows. Uh, and just start going through that one as far as we can. I need... So there's a cloak you get from one of the missions. And I need one, I need another cloak for uh, Holdridge. And uh, two, uh, to level this thing up and involve it, you need to do all the achievements and stuff like that. So uh, it's like here, it'll show it. Go like here to item or uh, champion of Night of Shadow to go to the next tier, right? So... We're going to be doing that um and then we'll, when we get to uh when we get to um geez what is it called Lorian's song we got to do the same thing uh to get this this neck here updated but fortunately for me i've already done everything <laughs> on this character uh so he's he's done everything except for uh the raid achievements and uh a few collectibles so we are uh, we're gonna be really good off on that, but we'll do it all for Holdridge here. Uh, so I kind of I have a good idea what to do in Lorian's song at this point. So, all right, let's see if there's any mo other mobs down here. There's another restless. Yeah, so this is just gonna be an easy grind for a little bit. Not a whole lot of mobs down here, which is great. Um, because <laughs> that's less mobs to just gangbang us in the hallway here. And, uh, it's just, it's just, it's a little ridiculous. The amount of mobs that I've, I've pulled one and it comes and then somehow, you know, 10 more mobs show up. It's ha so far it's happened to me on every single floor, no matter what. Like, uh, on the second floor, or no, first floor, right? You pull a dog and you see, what was that skeleton we fought in the hallway there? All the mobs around it came and social aggroed. Uh, on the second floor I pulled the a ghost and he like took the the back way to come <laughs> to come to us and uh, pulled everything in the zone on the second floor you know just dumb things like that that are uh, frustrating but uh, you know it is what it is um, you know it took me I, we came here at 113 and I had to leave to go get some experience to make sure we could uh, continue this thing because uh, the mobs were hitting so hard. Uh, you know, did a few gear upgrades and stuff. I was use some of the ores we had. Uh, I got a few ores left. Uh, I got to start. So I I made a bunch of characters on this server uh, with all the heroic boosts so I could do the uh, overseer quest to get crafting materials uh, and stuff like that. Like. Uh, I need to get Voxel to uh, 350 everything so he can get his artisan prize. I'm probably going to do it again for Holdridge. Uh, so I'll probably test it with Voxel and uh, make a video with Holdridge kind of stuff. So 
All right, so we're waiting for respawn now. Uh, it's gonna probably take like six to eight minutes for respawn, maybe more. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep grinding these uh, few mobs that are down here. Uh, hopefully get the key in uh, a short amount of time. Uh, I can always uh, go back up right here. This mirror here will take you back to the entrance. So you can always click that to go back up, but uh, I'm not really concerned about that. I'm not gonna go through all these these hallways here. Looks like there's two more placeholders up there. We could probably go do uh, for the same guy. He's in. He I guess he's a name that drops the key also. So we'll see how that goes and uh, whatnot. But uh, I'm gonna grind this out, and then we'll continue and go to floor five. All right. So right here, a restless mummy's corpse drops to the ground. You see a spirit where it said startled floats quickly towards the center of the maze. So what we need to do is go to the center of the maze. So I'm gonna get everybody oh, wrong one. Stop song. Get everybody solosed. And viz. Yeah, all right, everybody's in viz. I'm gonna run the necromancer first. All right, so we just run past all this. I wanna see what I'm dealing with. <laughs> All right, center of the maze, uh, if we look here, if we turn off this, we need to be right there. So I need to go green, green. I might be able to solve this with a necromancer, so I'll just make this a whole lot easier. Right, right here. Restless mummy. Ascended adventure. That's the guy we need right there. All right, so let's get the um, the mage. Let's get her and get her there, and we'll call everybody there. Light filter. Zoom out. All right. Yeah. So this will be uh, this will be interesting. I got it pretty quick. Uh, it was like one respawn. That's how long that was. So hopefully I can just zoom, zoom my way right up here. Uh, I've been checking tracking and there's no names up. <laughs> I would have gotten, I would have gotten and killed them uh, for sure. There we go. Voxel is right here. All right. So just stand right here. Call out everybody. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there's a Bob's right here. Invis song. Everybody should be invis again. All right, so where's Voxel? Let's take a look at this situation we're actually dealing with in here. So we got a restless mummy and the ascended adventurer. All right, this is gonna be easy. All right, uh, Holdridge. Let's get everybody here on follow. I can take two. Uh, let's put my sword and shield back on. No, we don't even have to don't even have to deal with that nonsense. Let's go right up here. Where'd he go? He's right there. Everybody's here. Alright, so and this guy should drop the key of disdain. Uh well actually. Actually, there's more to it. <laughs> All right, so we got to kill the uh, the ascended, uh, whatever, and then we have to drop down to the trap. So, height filter. We need to go back up to the trap. So that's not a big deal. All right. All right. You hear scraping metal and ice coming from below you. So let's invis. Let's grab the mage. Uh, where is the closest floor trap? So this way. I run, with the uh, bard song, I run so fast, I go right over them. All right, so let's go here. This one looks like one. 
Frost Mummy, Shadow. There he is right here. All right, call a hero. One Viz. Grab Holdridge here. Get everybody on follow and grab the rusty armor. And how many of our mobs that come with him? There we go. All right, so the rusty's rusty armor falls to the ground, and looks like we will have to kill a heroic ectoplasm next. And credit to EQ Resource for writing all this up. Uh, EQResource.com. I want to make sure I credit them. I'm not. I'm not coming up with this on my own. It's on Alexam. It's on EQ Resource. Uh, <laughs> Just googling the Tower of the Frozen Shadow comes up with all this stuff, so don't think I'm uh, making all this up as I go. Let's get a mod rod for you. And there's the heroic ectoplasm. Nice little safe spot right here. We can find all this nonsense in. Uh, working pretty well. All right. There we go. It's gonna die in pretty quick, I guess. Granted, I'm I'm not even. <laughs> Not even doing my dot rotations on any of this stuff. And right, there's the key. The key of disdain goes to a voxel here. Voxel now has the key. Let's uh, turn off your attack. Let's uh, sell those and viz. And uh, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right, so now we can go to the next floor. Um, the, um, God, what floor? F floor five. So to get to floor five, we need to go uh, all the way back to where we were. So go this way, go take the green path. Not that one. This one. And then go up here. And then follow it around just like we did before. And then zoom, zoom through all this. Turn here and go up here. Now, the shadow is in all these hallways here, so watch out. Uh, I think we're going to be safe to call a hero right here, so we'll see. Uh, we got a frost crypt coming right at us. Uh... He didn't come all the way. All right, perfect. All right, we're here. Now we take the key, click the mirror. Key gets added to my key ring, and bam. All right, so um, let's make sure we're double invis real quick. I don't know why you're... What is killing you? How do you have restless ice? <laughs> all right, oh... <laughs> Whatever. I don't even know sometimes, man. All right, here we are. Um, no one's on follow. All right, so this is the golems we gotta kill. We gotta kill six of these, and we need uh, shards to give everybody. Right? So let's kind of look at this. There's six of them in here. Jeez, that'll straight up kill us. Uh, probably not gonna pull that room. And then here are the vampires we need right here. So. We are almost done. So what we're going to do, we're not going to actually pull those six, I don't think. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll do that. We'll, uh, I'll show some bard action. I like bards. Let's put a campfire down right here. And let's start lulling these sons of guns here. So there's one. And uh, the bard lull is only uh, 30 seconds, so we gotta make this uh, quick, 
if you know what I mean. Alright, let's get slow. I guess we got three. That's fine. Here, let's heroic leap. Make sure they're all on me. Go start getting uh Let's see here, slow. Make sure they're all at least slowed. All right, and the one I don't have aggro on is on the pet. Perfect. All right, so this will get us uh, three of the six golems we need to kill. Uh, hopefully, it gives us six, six shards per, uh, and I can uh, divvy those out. But uh, looks like we're almost done with the tower. <laughs> I'm excited. You do, you do not realize how excited I am about this. All right, we got six. Let's cut one off. Now you're probably wondering if you haven't know if you don't know, right? Uh, when multiple items like this drop in a group, the uh, they will keep dropping until everybody has them right so if you make sure no one ever completes it you will keep getting uh shard after shard so you see how i'm leaving one on there right uh once i have six of those uh just sitting there we can uh be fine wow my mage is like out of mana all right so that was uh sultana Stasi. There you go, three. And then I just give, just hand off the rest of them, and we're good to go. Alright, I don't want to fight three again. That was a little bit mana intensive. So we're going to lull that guy. And if we can, if we can do it, we're going to lull him. There we go. Holdridge here. Perfect. All right. Oh god, where did this guy come from? It doesn't. It doesn't even make sense. He was lulled. <laughs> oh, you know that's life, right? Close that for now. Uh, I'm gonna mantle. These things are hitting me kind of hard, and I don't have any external buffs right now. Everything I have is whatever these guys can get. I was not. <laughs> I, li I literally died twice before starting recording on uh, floor four <laughs> uh, due to bad pulls. And I'm. Just not about wasting my time sitting in uh, guild lobby for buffs at this point. All right, so this one goes to you. We'll have to double check all these before we hand out the last one. All right, four. So if you just leave these on the corpse, we'll be able to loot them at the end. You guys are like out of mana, so salt, there's maybe there's a mana drain or something going on here. I don't know. Even my necromancer's gonna run low on mana. Just a voxel. And then one more golem. Hopefully he drops six also. 
not really good experience here, honestly. I was expecting, like, almost 0 0.08. Ah, uh, maybe a little bit higher. Because, uh, at 0 0.05, even with less, and I'm not getting 0.1. That's not that great. Uh, and getting to uh, 116 is gonna be uh, quite a grind. But I am not gonna start the next expansion until we hit 116. I am not gonna risk getting a uh, messed up experience. I mean, uh, definitely we can grind it at the end for sure. Uh, I found some quests with Voxel that I can do and get better experience. And with, you know, a full group. I got going on here it would work pretty well but all right so we can go ahead and give all six to holdridge give uh ketka soldatna stasi Ilv, and voxel all right deliver 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 Deliver, 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 and deliver. All right. So let's get back on follow here. Now we got to kill vampires. We're not going to kill that main room. Uh, there's just too many in there to uh, for me to be able to handle that many mobs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to one of these side rooms over here. It's this one. Yeah, there's like two of them in here. Uh, helps if we have all the characters, right? I don't know why you two are like being stupid with auto follow, but whatever. Yeah, they did it again. Really? All right, let's just. Bring you in here. Where are you at? This is uh, probably one of the most annoying things. I guess they never even made it out of the room. Is uh, auto follow not working uh, at all? All right, you didn't make another room either. All right. Alright, two. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the pets on this one, and I'm gonna fight this one. There we go. Let's get a slow on this guy here. And then we'll switch to the other one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, that wasn't the real shaman pet. I was like, did he die that fast? All right, let's get uh, Bard Song playing again. And let's position the Bard for some melee action here. I'm going to be changing up uh, the Bard songs for the uh, 120. As we get to, uh, as we get higher, right? As we get to one, uh, 120 and uh, 125, I'm gonna start trying to do more DPS with her and less just random shit. <laughs> this is really what it boils down to. Uh, I want to get their DPS a little bit higher to account for uh, beatboxing the Necromancer. Go. So this is uh, two of seven vampires. So I'm just gonna leave them on there instead of doing the splitting that I've been doing. Just gonna leave them on there. Go from there. All right. So everybody should be in viz. Come out here. And that's the stairway. We don't want that room. We want this room. Of 
course. Someone wasn't following. Alright, same thing. I'm gonna send the pets at this guy. And then I'm gonna attack this one. Uh, cool thing about a Shadow Knight and a Paladin is they get the slow, right? So I get Helix of the Undying, so... I don't even need to, like, tell my uh, Shaman to slow this one, because it's, it's already slow, pretty much. Uh, and so I can have the pets fighting off doing their own thing, I can do my thing, you know, it's everybody's doing their thing, right? That works out pretty well. I have no idea why you're not, like, regenerating mana at a decent rate. Uh, I don't have clarity at the moment, so that's like one of the weaknesses. <laughs> one of my big weaknesses for this group is I don't have internal clarity, I have to get external clarity. Uh, I did make a heroic 100 uh, enchanter. I'm going to probably power level up to 125 uh, at some point just to be able to buff myself with clarity. Uh, you know, people do it in guild lobby quite often, but... Uh, when I'm making videos, I don't like to wait. Alright, what do we got? Four, two more, and we're good to go there. So, let's actually follow. Helps to actually be invisible. Alright, uh, three in here, so this is gonna be uh This is gonna be fun. Is this where we need to be? This will take us to the sixth floor. And there's a name to spawns here, so. Alright, uh we'll send the pets on this guy. We'll shield Fury. Or whatever it's called. Shield uh Yeah, we're gonna get this one. Now that's, uh, you know, I sent the mage pet, the necro pet, and the shaman pet onto that one over there. You can see how, how much damage they're doing, uh, compared to the one I'm on, right? Now keep in mind that my, uh, my mage is like completely out of mana right now. My cleric is actually low on mana too. This is a uh, quiet prayer. I think it's no, it's this one, right? All right, you're. One. That's one, two, three, four, five. So this should finish this quest for us. He's low on mana. There we go. And the final one here. Alright, so that is uh, six, so... Backwards, Soldatna, Stasi, Nilve, Voxel, and Holdridge. There we go. And then that completes everything there. Uh, so we don't need the frozen vampire blood here. That on the corpse. And before we get out of here. Let's uh, double check. Uh, let's see here. Deliver times three. Deliver times three. Deliver times three. 
All right. So we need to take the uh, portal to Eastern Ways, but apparently there isn't one. <laughs> I don't see one here. That'll take us back to fourth floor, but it uh, doesn't look like there is one. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to actually uh, gate everybody out and go back to Eastern Ways. So let's do that. All right, we're back here in Eastern Ways. Let's go ahead and uh, turn these in here. Uh, let's see here. Vampire Blood. William Shards. And Necromancy Notes. There we go. Hand all three of those over. Oh my god. We're we missing a Vampire Blood for everybody. Oh my god. One moment. I'm going to go back up there and get all those. Jeez. Oh my gosh. All right, so <laughs> I luckily I had my campfire still up here, so we should just be able to run to this room right here. Uh, call here everybody here because we did uh, we did have that corpse, so we did leave everything on. All right, so we can loot here. Take one. Oh my god, I can't believe I did this. <laughs> Take one. And then uh, you need one. But uh, once we get these, we should be able to go finish this off. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, double read the quest text before you continue. Otherwise, you'd be like me and not able to even loot the corpse. go and one more here all right now everybody has seven. Oh, you son of a gun <laughs> Jeez, this is all fast my mage died there Jeez. oh my gosh she didn't even stand a chance all right we'll have to get her back up here in just a second uh blessing Accept, respawn. Uh, you have no mana. Oh, jeez. There we go. A little bit of mana now. Alright, perfect. Alright, well, lesson learned right there. Uh, read the quest text. And, uh,. Yeah, I only have one because I didn't, uh, I didn't do it right. So I go there. Uh, but now we have a key. We can get back up here without even having to think about it ever again. Let's see here. Can I take some mana from you? Let's keep burning some bosis on you or restless. Sambosis. That should be good. Let's actually get the bard in here so we got a little bard damage going. There we go. Right. Not really prepared for this at all. Alright, let's get uh talisman going. Let's do it. And there we go. I'll rebuff while fighting. Uh, the paladin can kind of self sustain himself once it's slowed, uh, for the most part, on some mobs, which is really nice. Uh, I am going to set him up with like a, uh, I'm going to call it a bitch paladin, <laughs> a bitch it in uh, mode where he's like two hand, but he doesn't have anything taunting on him. So I can like the let the pets taunt and stuff. Just haven't done it yet. All right, there we go. Now we can gate everybody out and go back. Oh my gosh. Gate. Gate. All right, we're back here at Emily, and we can turn in this damn blood. 
All right, give her the blood, and there we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Calculate some achievements. Boom, 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 boom. Server has been extremely slow the last few weeks. All right, we got 5% experience for completing that. Um, for the mercenary of the frozen shadow. Should get another achievement, I believe. There we go, we got champion of, uh, which gave us 17%. So we're now champion, which now should give us icebreaker right here, which will give us a new mount. And we actually have a mount now. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool mount. Uh, let's throw it in here and make it our stat buff mount. And uh, let's put it right here. Get rid of this terrible heroic one we got going on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and look at this thing. I've I've been chasing this thing for what? It's like This feels like two months. It feels like two months. But uh, we finally got it. Um... It also gives us a better um, mount buff stat. So we get, uh, what is it here? Mount blessing uh, uh, Kala now. Uh, we're not at the best yet, but we are better. Uh, the, let's see what's the stats on this one here. Um, yeah, this gives us 3,000 um, 3, health, mana, and endurance. And then more resists and some armor class and some regeneration. So definitely this right here is nice. But what's cool about this one, right? Let me turn off Dead Man Floating. Uh, this one levitates. <laughs> the wings actually make it fly. So that is, that's like levitate in a pinch, right? Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. All right. And just for the sake of seeing if the Necromancer gets any... Uh, any experience for doing these again because I've been looking for any way to get him experience. Uh, let's see here. Zero experience from these quests. <laughs> Zero experience. All right. Uh, da, 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 where are you at? All right. So there we go. Uh, that is uh, Torment of Velius. Uh, pretty much done. Uh, probably what I'm going to do is I need, I need a. Uh, how much experience do we need here? I need 28% experience. And there's a few options we can do. I might go into uh, Claws of Ishin, uh and do the Partisans and Mercenary quests until we get to 116. But as soon as we get 116, we are going to jump directly into Terror of Luckland and continue from there. Uh, I don't want to wait because uh, I actually need to finish those quests on my necromancer and those will actually give him meaningful experience to get to uh, 125 so that is kind of like the goal of where we're going so I'm going to pick a zone in uh, western waste maybe uh, I think I think I already did the mercenary for cobalt scar on the original guys so I'll probably need to finish that up on these ones and then uh, we can jump right into uh, the Partisan, which uh, the Partisan of Cobalt Scar looked pretty easy. So uh, do that next. But uh, thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.